You have to go that way. <laughs> for our weekly discussion of The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, head over to your local Barnes & Noble Cafe. It's only $5 with any purchase during the entire month of October. <laughs> Good transition lines. <laughs> Typically, I prefer a physical book, but if I'm traveling or I'm running a little short on money, I prefer an ebook because they travel really easily and I can take as many books as I want with me on a trip, and then I can take like 20 and just see. I mean, I, I feel like we're gonna get so much feedback on this question, <laughs> but I typically tend towards E. I mean, in the course of my job, I read a lot of manuscripts, I read a lot of arcs, most of the time they're sent to me as PDFs. It's a lot easier to just put them on an e-reader or an iPad and cart those around. And plus when I go on vacation, I can bring an entire library with me yeah. in my e-reader. That is not to say that I don't buy physicals. I buy a lot of physical books. I have a lot of books in my house. My book is just, my house is just bookshelves. It's crazy. So I, I typically go for e, but I still definitely really love physicals. Yeah. I think I would want to master the skill to just easily learn languages because I'm terrible at learning languages and I would love to just, because there's those people who can really easily pick up a mm -hmm. language yeah. and it's so cool and I would love to do that but it's really hard for me so. I feel like that's like cheating. That's like wishing for more genies when you're given No, languages. because it's a real skill that people actually have and if I could master that. Okay. I still have to do all the work yeah, of no, learning a language. It's like wishing for a skill to learn more skills. <laughs> it's fine. It's my cheat. Okay, you can you can have a loophole. We Thank love you. a loophole. If I could learn any skill, I think I would want to be a like computer technical whiz kid. I would love yeah. to further understand coding and app development and just like anything that has to deal with coding and blockchain and all that. I mean, our world is going digital. I think I could very easily rule the world if yeah. I just had a superior knowledge of all things digital. So I'm gonna go with just kind of all things coding. I wanna mm -hmm. know, I wanna speak all the coding languages. Okay, so you wanna rule the world, huh? Yeah, is that not obvious? <laughs> but hold on, it has to be a realistic ability that you oh. give someone. It's not super. Oh, it can't just be. Not you're not a day. not a superhero. <laughs> it has to be within the context of you know this little book we're reading. If I could have any power, I would want the ability to be able to process a lot of information really quickly. Kind of like in the movie Limitless, how just kind of be able to look yeah. at information and deduce things and find patterns and just kind of figure it out very quickly. That's what I would want. I think I would want a photographic memory. Okay. Yeah. Also very practical. Yeah. I wonder if they have a photographic memory. That's a really good question. They might. Maybe that's like their secret the to best. when they were like, I didn't try all that hard. That's why I'm yeah. only number five. It was like, ooh. Thanks again for joining us for another discussion about The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. Join us next week, October 24th, as we discuss pages 214 to 300 at 4 p.m. Central Time. And don't forget that you can get your copy of The Similars for only five bucks with any purchase in the Barnes & Noble Cafe the entire month of October. Thanks so much. See you next week. I have no rhythm. <laughs> like, I can't clap on me, so that's not going to happen. Okay. <laughs>
idea. Is it five dollars? That's what I've heard. What? But Amazon is listening to me. I like got weird stuff and I don't remember why. I know me too. <laughs> When in doubt, and out. <laughs>